Good morning, everybody. Estas here. Welcome back to another video. So in this morning's video, we're going to be going over what the market is looking like today on the 28th of March in 2019. First, taking a look here at the pre-market futures. Then we're going to hop into my Think or Swim platform, do some technical analysis very quickly on the market, and talk about two stocks slash ETFs, or maybe three that I'm watching this morning. So let's just get right into it, guys. So right now, the the S&P 500 is down about 50 cents, down about 0.02%. The Nasdaq down about $1.25, down about 0.02%. And the Dow Jones Industrial Average right now is up about $6, up about 0.02% percent as of right now with about 25 minutes left to the market open so if we hop over here to the spx guys not the gold futures the spx or we can also use the spy here for those of you guys that have watched that watched my video yesterday we talked about how the SPY and actually the SPX, we can see it a little bit better here, was forming lower highs from the peak at about 2860 about a week ago from today. So we can see the high here at 2860, the next high at about 2828, the next high at about 2820. And now we can see if this is the next high forming, which we'll find out here in the morning, whether or not the market shoots down or shoots up you know this is going to be a very bearish move if the market does end up pushing down and doing something like I illustrated here from yesterday's video right so we can also take a look at the SPY which is an ETF that tracks the S&P 500 and we can see something very similar here right if we go to the 10 day 30 minute chart we can see the top at about 285 where that correlates to the SPX at about 2860 the next top at about 281 which is a lower high the next top at about 280 flat 281 which is a lower high from the previous at about 282 right and this right here that we're seeing a really strong resistance heading into the morning here could be the third or the fourth rather lower high especially if we do end up dumping down this morning and again that's a very very bearish pattern and every morning guys I'm doing my analysis on the SPY and the SPX to determine what I'm going to be trading for that day so another thing I want to point out here is take a look this is a very bullish or bearish rather bearish bearish um, moving average crossover that we're seeing here in terms of uh, the 50 simple moving average, right? We can see, we all know by now, whenever the 50 SMA crosses above the 180 SMA, that's a bullish sign, which is why we saw a very strong green push on this day. But the inverse meaning whenever the 50 is crossing below the 180 is a bearish sign. And we saw that back on the 22nd of March where we crossed below the 180 simple moving average here. And since then, it's been pretty bearish in the markets, right? And we're still having or we're still seeing rather the 50 SMA trading below the 180 SMA. And it does not seem like it wants to cross back up, right? But let's say today we have a very strong green day, right? This is most likely going to push up here and the 50 is going to cross back above the 180 SMA. And if we break out of this resistance here, at 281 if we have a green day that's really going to put us back into that bullish state in the overall market so just keep an eye on this chart here the 10 day 30 minute the 5 day 5 minute and keep an eye on those lower high patterns that I was talking about and if we're just taking a look at the 1 day 1 minute very quickly it seems very bearish on an intraday uh intraday um basis as well right the, the high here lower high lower high and it seems like it wants to do something like that right so just keep an eye on these levels now let's just talk about very quickly what i am looking to trade today 
on the 28th of March. And it's a very slim list today, guys, because again, like I've been saying, and if you watched my video yesterday, I'm being very patient in this market until we see a direction in the SPX because we see on the smaller time frame charts that okay, we could be pushing down now, but if we go to the larger term charts, we don't really see much direction in terms of us distinctly pushing up or distinctly going down, right? Which is why I'm keeping my list very slim. And the first one I am watching today is going to be TVIX in the scenario that we do end up aggressively selling off this morning. And for those of you guys that don't know, TVIX is an ETF that goes up in price whenever the S&P 500 is going down. So pretty much this is a hedge against the S&P 500. So if you're invested in the S&P 500, for example, and you want to hedge against it, meaning you want to make money while the S&P goes down, TVIX is a great way to do that if you're looking to day trade, right? You can do this, like th this goes up sometimes 5, 10, 15, 20% in the day whenever the S&P 500 goes down simply 2, 3%, right? If we saw a 2, 3% red day in the SPX, a lot of selling, you can most likely see, guarantee see this go up at least 15 to 20 percent which is absolutely crazy right so this is one that i'm watching this morning tvix another one i'm watching is tesla guys <clears throat> ticker symbol tsla and tesla's been doing very well recently we saw that the lawsuit got dropped a couple of days ago. I believe we saw some analysts upgrade their positions on uh, Tesla here. And we saw the bottom at the bottom of this channel here at about 260 to 255. And from there, we've clearly bounced. We broke their resistance at about 275, it seems like, this morning. And I'm waiting to see, are we going to maintain this level as well as the 50 simple moving average as a support? And from there, if we do end up maintaining these levels, guys, and we break especially out of this resistance here from back in the middle of October in 2018, I definitely think it's possible to run back up to 290, which is the next resistance at the 180 SMA. And we talked about yesterday how Tesla can be a play between the moving averages here, right? Between this SMA and this SMA from about 275 to 290, this can offer about a nice 5 6% margin of profit. This is what I'm watching today in terms of Tesla stock. So the next one, last one really that I'm going to be talking about in this video, because again, I'm keeping my eyes on the overall market to see the trend, is NVIDIA, guys. And NVIDIA is already one, or is one that I'm already in, rather, and this is ticker symbol NVDA. I entered this one about two days ago with a small position waiting to add more if if the uptrend continues and if, if let's say we break below this 50 SMA, that's where I'm going to be cutting my losses because I'm actually in at about 176.20. So right now I'm really up barely, right? I'm barely up. We're at about 176.97 right now, pre-market hours. But the fact that we're still holding this 50 SMA as a support here on the 184 hour chart, that gives me hope to maintain my position here. And again, if we end up breaking this level, let's say we get to the 171s, 170, 172s, that's where I'm going to be cutting my losses, which is why I entered in with a small position until we confirm a further uptrend this way if I do have to cut my losses I'm not losing as much money as if I just hopped in all in with 100% of my position right off the bat so as of now NVIDIA is looking okay, but one thing that I'm kind of scared about is the lower highs forming in NVIDIA on the smaller time frame as well. We see the high here at 185, high at 181, high at about 177, and let's say we do something like this where we form a high here, then we slowly start to dump if the market does dump. That's not going to be too good of a sign here um, in NVIDIA, but ideally I would love to see a pop to the upside. That would be the ideal scenario here, but if this does happen, the downwards push, you know, I'm most likely going to have to cut my losses there in NVIDIA, which is no big deal because, again, I'm in with a small, small position. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is the morning update. If you did, feel free to drop a like, leave a comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'll see you guys in the Discord group chat. Have a good one.